So this is an atmospheric boundary layer wind tunnel. It's specifically designed to reproduce the atmospheric boundary layer, which is the, the flow of air above the surface up, of the earth up to about 600 meters or so. The elements that you see behind me in the tunnel are what's used to, to generate that layer. And, and what the boundary layer is, as you go up in elevation, wind speeds start out very slow, and then they get up higher in the boundary layer. At the same time, turbulence is very high down low and that will decrease as you go up higher in the atmosphere. So you see the, the blocks behind me on the surface of the tunnel, the, the tall spires way up at the front are used to generate that flow. The spires get smaller at the top, so they generate less turbulence up there. They're very wide near the bottom, so they generate a lot of turbulence down there. The tunnel is also very long. It's about 100 feet long because we need that, that fetch to be able to, to get the whole uh, wind flow stabilized and by the time it gets to where I'm standing, we'll have a, a scale model of your building or whatever your structure is, and we'll have the right atmospheric flow conditions, finally, by the time we get to your building, to be able to accurately predict what the wind is going to be doing uh, around your building. And that's useful information to have when you're planning a new building, so you know if people walking around the building are going to get blown around. You'll also know what the wind loads are on the building as well. And that can be important for tall buildings, um, generally, it's not as important for small buildings, but it is very important if you're looking at um, solar panels or something that you're trying to mount on the roof, because you need to accurately know what the wind loads on those smaller items are going to be, um, and the current codes don't really predict those very well. So, atmospheric boundary layer wind tunnel is the tool that you need to figure out what the wind loads on your structure are going to be. We also use it for a lot of other things, modeling how snow may deposit on your building, modeling how exhaust plumes from power plants or research labs, those types of buildings, might come back into your building or your neighbors. You need this kind of tunnel to accurately predict any kind of those interactions with the wind. Now, some people might tell you that they can do it in uh, just a normal aeronautical tunnel. And what that is, is a tunnel designed specifically to test something like a car or an airplane wing. Those kind of tunnels, you want very smooth flow because you're looking at flow very near the surface of the structures. Um, that you're concerned about, those tunnels don't generate the turbulence that we're looking for when we're simulating the atmosphere. If you're concerned about how the wind is going to affect a structure that you're building on the earth, it's important to have an atmospheric boundary layer wind tunnel, not an aeronautic wind tunnel. And for more information, you can see our website. <music>